here's the question for you. What is the sound of a one hand clapping? You, you know what? A better question. How deep is the silence of the sleep? Well, let's uh, delve in and find out. With a new game called Silence of the Sleep. Ellipsis. Pretty. Oh, there we go. Such nice music. So, it ends like this. Please forgive me. That's a nice graphic, I gotta say. I'm sorry, but it's hand drawn. It looks actually 3D, the guy. It's a model. It was done by the shadow. Press E for action. Okay. No, no, don't do a Kratos! That won't work well, you would have to kill Ares and then Zeus will betray you and everything will not gonna go according to plan. Because Titans will betray you and you have a child who, I don't know whom, and you're gonna fight Nordic gods because the Greek ones are dead. A game by Jesse Macken. I feel like I heard that name somewhere before, but... Not too certain. Don't technically even know if I win on that subject, but when it comes to people responsible for certain aspects of games, movies, books, well, books may be less because they're actually basically one person responsible for the book and that's the author, so yeah. But I, I'm not that familiar with it. It's just a, I'm gonna say a handful of people that I actually recognize by the surname that appear in the video, most of them are voice actors. Uh, authors and uh, directors, etc. After I hit the blackness, I still felt alive. I'm still alive, no matter what you do to make me cry. Prologue The Blackness. Spooky. Oh. It's either a Fantastic Four logo. No, it's not. It's a watch with a cross. Or actually, it's a wall. Okay. Ah, I see myself. I'm lying in bed. That clock is weird. How many hours have I been sleeping? I'm still sleeping. Oh, right, I see! Exclamation point. I can press E and I'm gonna get up. Oh, I even have a little bit of a... unzipped shirt. Ah, my head! Huh? Where am I? To the left? Let's see. Okay. Can I go to the left? I can go to the right. Okay, I can... Ah! That's cool. Can nod with my mouse control. What about the left right doesn't work? Let's go. Hmm. Can go. Okay, I can go into the back. Can I go? Uh, I can go to the front. Now what? Time's a wasting. I see nothing. Okay, I can walk faster. It still doesn't change the fact. What am I supposed to do? It looks like a clock. Okay, so that's the only thing. Okay, fine. The game doesn't give me prompts. It's spinning endlessly. So now what? Huh. Is that a door? Looks like a door. Okay, fine. It's hard to see. Room 25. What's to the left? That's a window. Can I look through it? I can. I can see charcoal clouds bathing in moonlight. Hmm. Let's look at the picture. Is it just me or does it look like the door moves? Room number 24. It's a phantom room. I can do anything with it. Hello? 
Anyone here? There we go. It's locked. Okay, nothing about that picture. Number 23. It's locked. That makes sense why it's moving. Press and hold shift to run. It's locked. This one is opened. Oh my. It won't budge. It's so dark. Power seems to be off. That's the other door. It's locked. Nope, nothing. I'm leaving this place. Okay, the room number 21, whatever it is. Is there supposed to be a room somewhere around here? Huh, weird. That's darkness. Rooms 21 to 25. Let's go down the stairs then. Wherever I am. Ooh, another toilet. It's locked. Saving. Silence of the Sleep does not auto-save your progress. You can save your progress by visiting gramophones. Okay, that that's weird. Never actually saw a gramophone as a safe spot. Damn it. Ah, that's how it works. Okay, I saved. So I just noticed I cannot turn around when comes when I'm facing the wall, actually away from the camera. I cannot turn to forward the camera. I have to go first to the right, then to the front, then to the left. I can go left or right normally. It comes here, left, right. Just cannot turn myself around when it comes to facing the camera or away from the camera. It's locked. Hey, is there anyone here? Okay, this elevator is busted, I think. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? I'm walking. Hello. Bar. Mac on. Not against the moon, I would say. How did I get here? Good evening, sir. Uh, would you like to have something to drink? Yeah, I always could use a drink. Nothing like a glass of local whiskey. Now we're talking. Bottoms up. Mmm. Delicious. Sorry, what is this place? You are in Moonlight Motel, sir. Not everyone gets to stay here. Moonlight Motel? But I... I understand your confusion, sir. One is not expected to rise after such a fall. Don't worry, you are not here for the purpose, sir. I don't understand. I remember hitting the blackness. Who are you? They call me many names, but my name is not important, sir. It's actually the shades of the Stephen King shining over here. I'm gonna drink myself to death and kill my family, if I had a family. I'm tired of doing the voice and when I do this anyway, it's a little bit dark and late and etc. I'm pissed off. So, how did you end up in here? I was born in this magnificent motel, sir. It seems this mortal has been around for some time already. Sorry. No offense taken, sir. Indeed, I have been around for quite a long time. He said, I have been around for quite a long time. So that's interesting. He seems to be the embodiment of the motel. I... No, 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 you're not gonna get away from me with that statement. I said the motel was here for a long time. I said, yes, I was here for a long, very long time. Are there any other visitors beside me? Yes, a man came here only a few minutes before you. But I am here for you and you alone. Ok, 
Okay, so everybody has their own barn moon. Okay, now what? You should take this as a second chance, sir. No one visits our moon and much about the reason. You must find the reason, sir. It's all that matters. Reason, eh? All I can remember is falling and hitting the blackness. I don't know if I want to learn the reason. It can be pretty. It's never pretty for people who visit us, sir. Purgatory? Maybe. Who cares? I'm afraid I hold m uh, no more answers, sir. The rest is for you to find out. Oh, before I forget, take this flashlight to get your journey started, sir. Good luck on your travels, sir. Uh, uh, hey, wait! Press F to go flashlight on and off. You can move the flashlight with your mouse. Okay. I have a flashlight. Okay, can I turn around? I can turn around. Now a little bit silent hillage over here. There's gonna be any monsters around here. This is creepy. I'm gonna get this. Power seems to be off. Okay, this door is closed. Okay, we're back here. Let's try. Okay, this one is open now. Now where am I? Hold on. Okay, there we go. I see myself. What the hell is this place? I'm sticking with the flashlight. It's locked. I hear something and I don't like it. Another door locked. Is someone there? Hello? Shit, don't come any closer. Okay, okay, just come down. Who are you? Where am I? Just about as the same. I have no idea how I got here. I can't remember. You need her? No, please stay back. How do I know you aren't playing tricks on me? You don't, but the same goes the way uh, the way around, right? Okay. What the hell is going on? I I am I dead? You would not believe the shit I've seen. There was a man standing in the darkness, and the voice in my head. The crying, it won't stop. That's disturbing. Would you please come down? I think I know what's it, what you are going through. I have no idea where I am or why. I woke up in this motel. The motel? But it's a casino! Dojo, casino, it's all in the mind! Shit! How did you get in here? I don't remember. I... Depression... A loud bang... Shit, I don't know! It's a piece of word, shit. I have a gun! Please go to that room and I'm off. Okay, I'll just leave. I... Ah, uh, shit. Okay, I trust on you with this one. Thanks, it's for the best. I have no idea what's going on here. Okay, I should do as he says for both of our sakes. He has a gun then. He mean this room? Okay. I'll go now. I don't know who you are, but good luck. I want a gun. Do I have a gun? There's a red button here. Oh, ooh! What does this button do? Did he know? I don't know what just happened. I did something. The crib fell down. Cradle, whatever. There's something in it. It's the key to room 22. To use inventory, press and hold space. While holding space, left click the grey arrow with your mouse toggle between the items. Release space, blah blah blah, etc. Okay, let's. There you go. What about this thing? Nope, nothing about the uh, hanging sofa. We're leaving. We're not the most. How the. What? Now it's locked. Fantastic. 
Can I get to the toilet? Damn it, I will need to piss my pants. I have a shit ton of shit in my pants at this point. I need to dispose of it somewhere. Goes to the room 22. Okay, let's go get it. Let's go get in the. Let's go to the room. Okay, unlock the door. Nothing on this side. What's near? There's a letter. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. So many song references in here. Did it finally happen? I did a test and came out pos came back positive. That's all there is. Okay, someone's pregnant. Probably connected to me. Very much Silent Hill esque. Anything else we have here? Nope. I don't see anything. Hold on, there's a table. Nothing on the table. There's a letter, blah blah blah. Okay, that's done. Oh no, it's locked! I just got. Um, that was weird. Disturbing. What's in the box? Okay, I have absolutely no idea what to do with this. Huh. I guess the door is open now. I'm so excited that it finally happened. I was actually hoping there's going to be some kind of... If it's still closed, no it's not. Door number 23, it's locked. I have nothing. None of those doors were open. 24. That one's locked. Let's run. 25. Okay, that's the room I was in. <coughs> wow. Okay. It's actually light in here. 23. You know what? I have an idea about that. Let's count the words. I am so excited. Should I count I'm as one word or as two? Let's see. Okay, so that's three. Four. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, four, nine. Let's see if this is gonna work. We're then gonna see 449. 3 4 9. Damn it. So, one more time. 449. No, doesn't work. So, let's end the code. I'm so excited. Doesn't matter. Okay, number 21. Okay. Toilet. I forgot this one is also opened. Ooh, the TV's on. Maybe that girl from the ring is gonna come over. Kayako or Sadako. What is this? Is that a window or is this a cinema screen? Okay, I have a key. Let's get out of here then. Huh. The white thing is actually annoying to me. Oh well. What do you mean? It does not fit here, so I know which one. There's another toilet. In the main corridor. Down the stairs, and here. Now what? Okay, what is that sound? Whatever it is, it's approaching. I better hide. 
it's locked. Stuck. Come on. Get in. The Slenderman coming, that's scary. Okay, scary, scary. How is gonna get in? Look, he has a hat. Looks a little bit like that guy from, um, from the from New Conjuring. Okay, that's dark. Raise yourself for the spooky scare. What the? Holy crap. What is that thing? Go away. Be quiet. Stand on the toilet. Let he not see you. Well, I think you should actually see everything from the top. Go away. Go away, Slenderman in the top hat. That's not good. Yeah, I can breathe heavily too. What was that thing? I never want to see it again. It was my pyramid head? Holy shit! Yeah, the holy. I I think it's gone. Okay. Oh, I found a VHS tape, and I know where I'm gonna put it in. This one's locked. This one's locked. Okay, let's move. You know what? I'm gonna save because of reasons. That I'm gonna actually go any further in this game, but still. Now, where was that stupid TV? Room 21? Yeah. That's a VHS tape. I inserted the VHS tape. Um. Five red, three blue, two green. Ah, wrong room. Okay. Three green, five red, two blue. What? Excuse me, fuck up. One twenty one. Two, three, three blue, two green. They fuck up. Okay, three blue. Two, I think I just fucked up in this one. And five red. There we go. Got it. There's a button inside. Press it. Oh, hell yeah! Suddenly the elevator is working again. Okay, great. We're leaving. Okay, what just happened? I think this shit is chasing me. Yes. To the elevator. Oh, that, that's the button. Oh no. Shit, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Damn elevator, come on! It's gonna be in the nick of time, isn't it? We have to hide in the toilet. Shit, come on! Yeah! In the nick of time, as I said. It was so close, it could nearly reach out to me. But I'm too fast. Stupid old elevator. 
think I made it. What was that thing, by the way? Chapter 1 The Journey Down. Okay, this is creepy. So, what's going on around here? I'm in an elevator. The hell was that? I don't understand any of this. Where the hell am I? That man speaking riddles, he just vanished before my eyes. This must be a dream. None of this is happening. I'm gonna pinch myself. I would am not dreaming. What was the reason he was talking about? I. Welcome to Silent Hill, by the way. Can't remember anything. What must have happened before all this? I don't think I have a choice to play long. This is a good game, I mean, seriously, the ambience is just pouring into me. Through the road ain't pretty, I must prepare myself. I cannot know what awaits me. Huh? Is that music? I don't hear anything. The hell is going on? So technically I do hear a little bit of something. I can walk. It's getting a little bit louder, the music. Okay, I think this is where I jump off. You can say this is where I get off. Oh, there's a party going on. This is so much like the Overlook Hotel. Yeah, let's mingle! There's a party. Hey guys, you wanna to talk to me? Fantastic. Okay, what the hell is this place? Nice. I like Excuse me, garçon, I like a drink. Oh, maybe not. Okay. The flashlight is useless this Okay, that's the door. Andrew Ryan? What are you doing here? Who are you, good sir, and what are you holding in your right hand? The bartender. So he's the... he's God. Let's see. Hello! Good evening. Okay, that picture looks a little bit feminine and I doubt that the guy... that the f person standing in front of me is, uh, fe uh, is a female. Sir, can I pass through this door? Absolutely not! I can let anyone in. None shall pass! It is, um... I guess I could tell you. There's something valuable in that room. <laughs> yeah, suave. I forgot something in that room. Good try. Sorry. Of course I want again. There's something valuable in that room. Okay. Oh, this guy's got a freaking uh, question mark above his head. Interesting. It's a painting. I don't think I need it. But even if I do, I'm gonna put it inside my deep pockets or in leading to another dimension. Just jump. Like freaking Ramona Flowers... Uh, flowerses? Purse. Or bag. Okay. So that's uh, safe. Hey. Mm. Ahem. Was it seven? No. Oh, sorry pal, I was deep in my thought. You lost something? Can't remember the code that's safe. It happens. Four days already. I really, really need to get it open. Spend four days with it? Huh. It's really valuable from the inside. Can I help somehow? I hid the code somewhere in here, but I just can't remember where. Okay, I'll start looking. How did I forget that code? Okay, there is something in that picture, the definitely number. It's a painting, anything I need it. There's a switch in here, whatever I use it. Okay. Let's see if I can actually use a shadow for something. Just junk, nothing more. Oh, there we go, I can see it now. 
six nine six is it six nine six let's try it one two three four five six I can go backwards okay nine six I get it opened huh Finally, I can see a picture of my family. That's all I have. And you got a red rose. Here, take this. Maybe you can see someone special like I once did. Thank you. Yeah, the code is 696. You have read it up. Thanks, pal. Actually, it is written up. Tell him it's on the, uh, it's on the freaking picture. Okay, I'm leaving. the door hold on I'm just gonna go back to the party room no I'm sorry it is um, it is a lady uh, the college is actually uh, screw up with me I don't see gender I don't need that what's the other side of the room do I get tired I think I do Hello, redhead. What is this place? Moonlight Hotel. Okay, I already figured that one out. Yeah. It's Alice. Well, uh, mind if I go down your rabbit hole? It makes sense to me, is the name right? Good point. Trying to figure out where the hell am I. It's like an endless loop. It's stuck in here for eternity already, or so it feels. This place is not too shabby when you make this decision to stay. But at least in this place I don't have to worry about a guy with the shadows. Do you want to leave? The only way is uh, for the riddle. Huh. So we worked together to try and solve the riddle, but there were so many of us, people turned against each other. Of, of course. We decided to bury it all and try to get along. Things are better now. Technically, if that's a cool uh, portal, maybe I would stay. For a century or two. So let me explain. When we first arrived, a man with a red tie and a pale face appeared. He said we were his guests and we would stay as long as we wanted. However, he also told us we are all free to leave, but not without consequences. I tried to leave. The riddle. At first, we like it here, but after some time, days begin to feel like the same. Ah, feel the same. So basically, it's a groundhog day all over again. Ah, uh, the same conversation, the same people, nothing never changed. See, so yeah, again, maybe not a century, a decade. That's when our frustration started to show. A year? Maybe? I don't know. At the time, it felt like our last effort together we decided to solve the riddle. This place was slowly driving us mad. It's too late for that. The scar was already there and we were too stubborn to forget. It felt like, yeah, just putting up people together, they're always gonna find a way to bicker and fight. Deep down, dwell into the psyche of a man. It's in good terms. It still does. Besides, I'm not sure any of us wanted to leave for the unknown. No, to be honest, it feels safe in here. Okay, compliance, I can understand that, I can relate to that, I usually don't like to take any chance and risks. Unless it's in a video game, then I don't risk very much uh, anything in a normal life and just can pretend I'm having adventures. Uh, it would have been too hard to leave, solve the meaning of this. Is it a man or is it a leg? I don't know. Quite a story. Anything related to this riddle? Okay, you got something strange. Something borrowed, something blue. No, something red. I have something red and something strange. Not sure why you need it, but here, take it. Thank you. My name is Jacob, by the way. It's nice chatting. I have to be going now. Goodbye, Jacob. Okay, this place is out of order. And I can enter. Interesting. just happened here. Okay, there's a fan. This is a toilet. 
can I use it? What's of this? Turn the valve. Turn left. Nothing happened. Turn right. Turn right again. Nothing happened. Okay, let's turn to the previous position. Damn it! So screwed. I fudged up. Oh, okay, that's... I can I talk to you guys, right? There's usually some kind of a color scheme on the person that I can talk to, so... Now, now where am I? Like a rail for something. Hmm. Anything on the other side of the room? Nothing. What about here? Is there a la rail? No. What about the last one? Okay. Maybe some other time. Okay. So those rooms have been taken care of. This is where the elevator is. Do I slow down automatically next to the elevator? Doesn't matter. You can just cut a little bit. What was kind of so did the the guy uh, this party also start in the motel where I started fleeing for that from that shitty gray thing? I think it wasn't gray; it was shadowy. Let's try this door. Hey, there's a guitarist here. Awesome. Amigo, play me something of Santana. Hello, Mr. Reeves. How do you know my name? Nothing to watch today, Jacob? Okay, this is weird. Um, should I record? I have no idea who the hell you are. Traumatized, okay. Oh, so my psychologist. Well, I, I wish I had a psychologist with a guitar. Understand, Jacob. Healing can only begin after acceptance. Acceptance of what? I don't even know what I have to accept. I'm an alcoholic? That would make sense considering I drink whiskey after getting here. Take this journey. So much as it's, it's the longest journey I could ever imagine. Am I insane? Well, he's not a psychiatrist. I'm not too sure about that. Mm, listen, people, they are ghosts, more lies. Technically, I don't trust you. Don't know why. I'm not here to stay. Make some sense in all of this. It's the only way to heal your scars. Scars don't heal. I've kept this from you, Jacob. You will need this once you are ready to leave. Okay, you got a piece of a riddle. I wish I could help you more on your journey. Who knows, perhaps at some point I can gain off new my assistance. Okay. So now he's gonna play the game. Uh, hey! Shrink! How are you? Alright. Uh, how did you end up in here? It's trivial. So I'm in the midst of my mind. Maybe I'm lying on deathbed and trying to make heads or tails of what happened to my life. Oh well. What's a lot of speculations going on around us in this game. I mean, his presence would signify that maybe it's kind of sort of a dream, like uh, that uh, sane level of your psyche trying to convince that you should actually come to terms with whatever shit you've done in real life. Because we started the game by Jacob committing suicide. On a very uh, cool place, I might say. Throwing yourself over a ledge near that tree, that's that quite poetic. Uh, hold on to your sanity. Okay. I don't understand how you could have known about Gerald and Brad. Who the hell? What? 
So much information getting thrown in my way, I don't even know what's going on here because I'm not Jacob. I feel like I really do have amnesia this time. Okay, I'm gonna stay strong. What is this? Is this a beehive? The rain keeps falling. And when blowing with her cold hand, the rocks the cradle of a child, preparing a journey to the kind of unknown. Okay, I already thought it's gonna go even further. I don't even know why I even sang that. Because I like to sing. I I know I'm not a very good singer, but uh, you have to endure me. I, I, I like it so much. Now, there's an idea. What if I give this lovely lady here a rose? A big and heavy ring-shaped object. A red rose. Still smells fresh. Can I give her the rose? I'm not going to give her this, she could misunderstand. What about the redhead? You know, for a second I thought when I saw this game is gonna be only uh, an adventure game, but uh, with those uh, scenes of uh, genuine dread and fleeing from that thing the top hat, whatever that thing was. Hey Alice, hey Jacob. Okay. I to explain, there's no clear image of things, only strong feelings. Maybe I need to deplete all the... Well, this is gonna have a lot of reading to do and uh, solving puzzles and riddles, so... My heart skips a bit. Here comes the worm, it feels as if I'm nothing more than a spirit. I try to reach higher, but instead I wake up in this hotel, motel, whatever. I'm sorry. Don't worry, Jacob. Maybe it's for the best that we don't dig too deeper. Might be. I need to go. Take care of yourself. You too, Jacob. Hmm. So, technically there's a lot of things to solve in here, I would say. But... All things considered. Oh, there is actually a door here. I haven't gone here. But just see, there's water. Ah, how nice. It's raining. It's a fountain. Do I have anything I can use a fountain? Piece of paper with patterns on it. Okay, I think I know where it is. A big and heavy wing shaped object. Let's just see if my suspicion is right considering those um, things on rails. Where was it? Here, I do believe. Okay, let's go then. Do I need to. Okay, it looks like a rail or something. Can I move it? Hmm. Doesn't work. Okay, so I don't know at this point anymore. But uh, seeing as uh, time flies and I have a lot more games to play, and uh, Halloween is nearly, nearly, nearly upon us, so this has been Silence of the Sleep. Though technically, now that you think about it, the title, uh, the whole thing with the sleep may have sense. He's in a coma, probably, and he's trying to make heads or tails. Whether or not he should stay in this place between uh, consciousness and. Uh, unless the title of the game doesn't really provide any answers, but yeah. That, that's my guess, that the whole thing is that the guy actually didn't die while falling down, he's in a coma. And now his brain is trying for him to either wake up or stay in this amazing dreamlike state. And that's a thing. I'll just check this last room on the uh, first chapter. And. Can I throw myself down? No. But this is nice. In the middle of the rain. Let it rain, let it rain, it will wash away the pain. 